2002 and 2002. So uh, seem to be uh, winning it in 20-year uh, gaps. Over to the women's 4x400 four metre relay final. Thrilling finish to the men's. Great Britain, Northern Ireland, Belgium and France. Good battling. Ultimately, the former held on. So there we can see the British team. Jody Williams has been brought in. Looks like Carolina Klafsik there, who was uh, really upset in tears after missing out on a medal in the 400 hurdles final. Here is the German team. Thiel Meyer Schmidt. He has millions of followers on uh, Instagram and TikTok. And uh, Klafsik there will bring them home. Spanish quartet with uh, Santiorian, Boquesa, Segura and Gallego with some of the best dance moves in the stadium. So Great Britain who have brought in uh, Jody Williams and Victoria Ahurugu finished first at the Commonwealth Games, the English team and were then disqualified so there's some amends to be made there from that point of view. Belgium already with a silver medal on the men's side. Can the women match that? Berlingo, Kleiss, Bonnet and uh, Camilla Laus bring them home once again. The Irish team, well, Rashida Alaleke, a sub-50 split in qualification. And they've stayed with this settled team of Sophie Becker, Phil Healy, then Adeleke, and on to Charlene Maudsley to bring them home. Second in their heat. Now, the Netherlands, Femke Boll and Lika Klaver, who've raced so much at these championships. I make this, uh, what, Boll's fifth race of the champs. Happy birthday, Lika Klaver, as well, who was in the 200. But here are the defending champions. They brought in Anakil Bashinska. And also Ida Baumgart Witten. I think that's the right decision. And Kazmarek, who broke the national record, first Polish woman to run sub 50 seconds to bring them home so always a fast finisher that'd be really interesting to watch on that last leg fairly young Swiss team with the 22 year old Silke Lemons starting them off well fascinatingly six different nations have won at the last six editions of these championships Poland Kielbyszynska to lead them off the Netherlands it will be interesting no disrespect to the other two runners in their team but uh, Femke Boll and Lika Klaver just uh, a level up so that will be interesting to see as well so Germany Spain Britain Belgium Ireland Poland and Switzerland you feel as though it's between Poland the Netherlands and Great Britain. Ireland will have a great opportunity for a medal. Rashida Alaleke, another who's had so many races, not just at these championships, but across this year. A national record individually. She finished fifth in the 400 metres. So, real tension and excitement ahead of this final. The last team to defend the women's 4x4 crown was Germany in 2002 in this very stadium in Munich. And it's the home nation going on the inside in lane one. Spain in two, Great Britain, Northern Ireland in three, Belgium in four, then Ireland, the Netherlands, Poland and Switzerland. Well, the Polish quartet have been billed as the Golden Girls with advertisements for championship courage featuring them stepping out of glossy cars wearing sunglasses but what kind of shape are they in disappointed a little at the world championships but they are the Olympic silver medalists and they have strengthened their team from this final with Kilbyshinska on this opening leg as we wait for the stagger to unwind on that second leg Berlingo there for Belgium and a Hurugu of Great Britain emulating 
her sister, the British national record holder, and improving significantly this year. Wouldn't have expected her to her be in uh, this kind of form a couple of years ago, but a late bloomer. So Baumgart Witter now has the bat on for Poland, but Belgium going really well on this second leg. And the Netherlands a little way back. But Lika Klaver with a chance to push them up. Phil Healy of Ireland in fifth place. So important from their point of view that Adelaide has a good sight in front of her. No doubt that she'll try and make up some ground. So Britain from Belgium, Poland and the Netherlands, the top four who've broken away here. Lika Klaver, who says she enjoys running the 200, but of course, helping the Netherlands win the 4x4 European indoor title in Torun last year. On to De Witt, as we see Germany and Switzerland battling some way behind. So Jody Williams, moving to the 400 metres over the last couple of years, but concentrating on the 200 in this event. Leading for Great Britain and doing a good job, just opening up that gap. Adeleke passing Germany and hoping to overtake Switzerland as well, but she's well back in fifth place. Pretty much deja vu from 400 metres ago. Adeleke doing a solid job. But still, it's going to be Britain and Belgium who battled, of course, in the men's race. But the Belgians just going in front. So it's Camilla Laus against Nicole Jürgen and Femke Bol. The Netherlands are right where they'd want to be at this point. And then Kazmanek of Poland, the incredible finisher. Well, Natalia Kazmanek. 49.86, the Polish record holder at home in Silesia in the Diamond League recently. Bol, who already has two gold medals at these championships. Jürgen tries to use her shoulders to go around the outside, but is out-muscled by Femke Bol, who's on her way to win her third gold of these championships, with Kazmarek coming through for silver. What an incredible championships from Femke Bol. Yet more Dutch delight. 3.20.87. Well, we wondered whether the Dutch had the full strength in depth to do what they did at the European indoors. But oh yes, they did. They beaten the Golden Girls of Poland and the Brits. A really close race down to the wire. Put the 200 metres to go. You needed some 800 metre tactics in there, positioning around that final bend. But the Netherlands coming out strong in the end. Femke Bowl, it almost looked like she was biding her time on the back straight, just waiting, not wanting to kick too early, not want to be, not wanting to be vulnerable in the last hundred meters. And tears all round from the Netherlands team. But Lisa Klava ran a really brilliantly strong second leg as, as well, powered her team right up to the four. They then got caught up. It was a very messy handover between some of the latter legs. And I do think the team from the Netherlands doing really well to manage to come home for the gold medal and a lot of that credit certainly has to be given to Femke Bowl. She's inviting the other athletes that ran in the heats to come in the lap of honour. I think they're going to lead them to it but it's a lovely touch from Femke Bowl. But the athletes who ran in the heats will also get medals and they are also allowed to stand on the podium. There's Friday getting in in the action. The irrepressible European Championships mascot. So it's a goal for the birthday girl, Lika Klaver. And so wonderful to see the team celebrations. The whole squad part of this and training together. Think about those that don't get to run as well. They're part of the drills. They watch on nervously to see what will happen. So we have a look at some of the highlights of this race. In the press conference, Funke Bowl was asked, what is going on in Holland? Why are you guys so good? She credited their training base and their team atmosphere. She said, we're all having fun. We're all working together. Our coaches communicate well. And when you have a lovely, nurturing, but high-performance environment that, like that, 
That's when you see these fantastic performances coming out time and time again. Penke Bolt, of course, one of the you know, best athletes in this squad from the Netherlands, but they're all doing really, really well. They're all running lifetime bests. They're out here pushing each other to be the very best versions of themselves that they can. <laughs> Natalia Kaczmarek of Poland was trying to track Femke Boll. Femke Boll made a move of around about 100 metres to go that the pole couldn't quite cover, but she measured her effort really well to pick up a silver medal for Poland. Not quite enough to defend their title, but a really good showing from the Polish 4x4. They were out of sorts at the World Championships, and they've come back here a lot stronger at the European Championships. What I'd like to know is how Femke Boll is now going to celebrate. You'd expect a glass of champagne, but I suspect she's also so tired all she wants to do is go to bed now and just get herself ready for the international circuit over the next three weeks which will conclude the season with diamond league stops in lausanne belgium and zurich but all credit she's without doubt and i don't think anyone would begrudge me saying this the female star of these championships absolutely cannot beat three goals thank you both it's good that she was excused from the heat in this. We saw at the Olympics through so many of the rounds that she could serve a bit of energy for her individual exploits. A good bronze medal for Great Britain and Northern Ireland. And, uh, a lot of good sort of tactical positioning going on towards the end of their leg as well. And that's great to see both 4x4 squads pick up medals on the British side. Confirm result for the women's 4x4 relay. Netherlands, European lead and the win 3.20. Poland just a second or so behind Great Britain and